There's a fucking reason my middle name is Journey. There's a fucking reason, dude. I'm going. I'm going. It's my time. My fucking time. This is an emergency podcast. This was not supposed to happen. This was not scheduled. I, uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Charleston in a week. I can't even explain it. So much shit's going through my head right now. Um, I just texted all my bosses and said, I'll explain when I see you. But next week is my last in Charleston. (sighs) There's a lot of signs happening around me right now. And I would be a fucking coward not to take them. I was driving to Saltwater, which was the job I was supposed to work at for the next month or two. I was five minutes away. And I was just like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to work here. I don't want to be here. I want to go. I ended up turning around and then turning around again. I came and the girl who's supposed to like interview me or whatever is just like not here. And I think I just passed her, but I've been texting her like for the past three days, hasn't responded. And I think I literally just walked past her and I don't know. So I text her. I said, hey, I think I just passed you. hasn't responded. I put a literal timer on my phone. If she doesn't respond literally by by noon, it's like 11.57 right now. I'm leaving. Oh, fuck. There's like 30 seconds left on this timer. I was kind of hoping she would text me back. And I sat there for five or six, seven, eight minutes waiting. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? It's time I choose me. Fuck. I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving. And I fucking left. I just drove away. (sighs) Is this what taking control of your destiny feels like? Just fucking scary? It's my fucking joyage, bro. It's my fucking joyage. It's my time. If not now, fucking when, dude. Fucking when. It feels so right. More right than anything has ever felt in my entire fucking life. And this will be the moment I look back on in 10 years, 20 years. This is my moment. Right now, by not going to Saltwater, by telling loggerheads I'm done next week, I feel like I'm letting them down. But by letting them down, I'm, I'm choosing myself, really. Because if I stay, and I stay for them to not let them down, I, I fucking let me down. And that's fucking worse. That's fucking worse. And I I fucking, I pick me. I was not supposed to leave for months. And something in me, I'm gonna fucking call it right now, is the future me. It's the fucking future me. That's the gut feeling I have. It's the future me saying, nah, dude, this is it. You need to go. You need to listen to these fucking signs that are happening all around you. Loggerheads just falling the fuck apart. Everything is going wrong. I'm done letting myself down and breaking promises to myself. I'm done with that bullshit. It's fucking time I start living for myself. At what point is playing it safe just a fucking excuse? You're scared. You're scared of what might happen. The fucking sun's gonna rise tomorrow. The sun will fucking rise tomorrow. No matter what tomorrow the sun will rise, do you really want to wake up tomorrow knowing you missed your chance? And then do that every day forever think of the self-esteem issues you have if you never pick yourself and this i believe for me is my moment and i don't believe my life has begun yet i think it begins when i leave i'm quitting my job and going after my fucking dream i don't know how i'm gonna make fucking money i don't know how i'm gonna make it work but guess what i would rather fucking just pin myself against the wall into a corner and figure it out then sit here and fucking wish I left last week. I'm not willing to do that anymore. Safety for me is not safe anymore. Safety for me is not fun, it's not doable. I can't, I can't just sit here and just watch as the time goes past me anymore. I've done that my whole fucking life. That's why I started this brand. It's not because I'm an egotistical piece of shit. It's something I believe in. It's something that has been coming. And it's something that my whole life has fucking led to this moment here. 
the day I stop breaking promises to myself, that's when you're truly living. That's when you're truly present. When you pick yourself over your job, over other people's schedules, over agendas that you don't even want to be a part of. You're just there because you just got pushed into it. Quit breaking promises to yourself. It's how you create shitty self-esteem. I feel like I've I've just grown so much in this past fucking few days, dude. The last week or so, something shifted inside me. The fact that this is fucking documented is nutty. It's fucking nutty that I'll be able to look back on this one day and neither look back and be like, yeah, I fucked up. But look where I am now, I'm fine. Or I'm going to say that was the, the fucking day that changed my life. And I got a 50 fucking 50 chance of that happening. And that's better odds than I've had in fucking forever. And I will take those odds. I will take those fucking odds. We're making this shit happen. It's my time to just fucking do it. This is my fucking joyage. This is my... There's a fucking reason my middle name is Journey. There's a fucking reason, dude. I'm going. I'm going. It's my time. My fucking time. Maybe you can take something from this. Maybe not. I honestly don't care. This is for me. What people take from it, I can't decide for that. I, I can only control what I put out. And I'm just giving you me. And if you can take something from it, fucking fantastic. If not, I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck. I hope you do. I hope if you're struggling in some way, you look at the shit I've done and maybe apply something I've said or done and lend it to your life. Like, I fucking hope. But if you're fine, if you're chilling and this is just entertainment, then dope. That's cool. This is my journey. This is my voyage. This is my joy. I just got the fucking tattoos. This is me all in. Signing out. Peace.